some sunglasses. That's better. Hi there, YouTube. So, I'm at uni. Way. No one noticed the camera chain. Ty. I'm at uni. Not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm actually not dead yet. Despite how I look right now. But there's one thing about going to uni. You drink a lot. And you know, the drinking is fun. But you have the hangover. Which isn't good. The first stage is the waking up. Now some people out there, and could be one of you, are just organised motherfuckers and you know you will actually wake up in your pajamas the rest of us will either be in the clothes we wore last night or naked those are our options many people say that they basically just get into bed and collapse and just wake up the next morning being shitty I am different however basically what I do is I get into bed I can't get to sleep for half a while. And then, I dream about the people that I've been drinking with. For example, last night, drinking with a lovely girl named Alex. 20 minutes after I fall asleep, or some shit like that, I wake up because I think she needs to help me carry the chair. Don't know why, there is no chair to be carried. One piece of advice for you, YouTube. Don't get in drunk at 2.30 in the morning and think that it is a good idea to eat a whole huge bag of Walker's Extra Crunchy Salt and Vinegar Crisps. Never do it. See, quite luckily for me, I am usually the type of person who, when they wake up, after being drinking, I may feel queasy, but I'm never actually sick. And the only thing that really gets to me is the light. Hence, these. I don't look too beautiful underneath them, let's just put them back down. However, as it turns out, after doing numerous shots, it is not a good idea to come back. And eat all of these. You will be sick. A lot. Just don't do it. Save yourself. <laughs> it's too late for me, but you can learn from my mistakes. But yeah. After you've woken up, there are certain steps that you take. The first thing is, keep the blinds completely shut. You try and find clothes. This will usually look something like this. I have no idea where anything is. You were there yesterday. Where have you moved to? Why do I suddenly just have, like, things everywhere? And whose shoe is this? It isn't my shoe. Fuck. This will go on for a concerted period of time. Now either A, you'll just brave it and open curtains. Or B, you do what I did. Which is not open the curtains and try and find shit in the dark because of course that's the logical reason reasoning thing so first thing you do is just find, find some nice toast find, find something like some jogging bottoms that are like loose tracksuit things and just use them do that the next thing is find a nice big jumper. And the annoying thing about being hungover is everything is frustrating. So you find, say, your usual nice big jumper and then you put it on and it's shrunken in the wash or some shit. So you have to end up with a cardigan. A jumper would be nicer. <coughs> Next up is food. You're not sure if you can eat food because you're not sure how well that'll turn out. 
you're not up to going out and quite honestly the world is not up to seeing this I mean I'm not into I, if I walked into a shop I'm pretty sure some kids would start screaming at me so let's face it you probably don't smell amazing We'll put on some perfume later to try and cover that. Because heaven knows, you can't deal with the shower. Top tip. Rehydrate yourself. Because it dilutes the alcohol that's left in your body. And gives you back water if you've been sick. Maybe. I think. Yeah. Happy hangovers.